The last of our Technique Queen series is a deadlift. Okay, it's really important that you get this technique right because you won't be able to feel it in your hamstrings unless you do it 100% right and also you're going to feel it in your lower back which is exactly what you don't want. Okay, so you need to find a ledge or surface that is a little bit higher than the floor and then grab a weight that is it's quite heavy. So in the beginning you're going to start with maybe 2 kgs and work your way up. I'm working with a 6 kg. I, to be honest, I don't really go heavier than 10 kgs um, on any specific exercise but you decide what is the right weight for you. The first thing is to put your feet shoulder width apart. Okay, now you're going to hold your weights or your barbell in front of you so that they're touching your thighs. And then I say, now paint your legs because I want you to stay close to your legs. I don't want the weights going far away from you. Immediately I can feel the strain in my lower back. So you want to lift up all the, the pressure. So in your toes, you're going to lift up your toes, dig in your heels into the surface that you're standing on, keep your weights close to you, stick your butt out so you tilt your pelvis forward. And now I want you to go all the way down, sticking your butt out, keeping those weights close. Go as low as you can, feel that stretch in your hamstring, keeping all the weight into the heel, lifting up the toes. Your knees are slightly bent over here and your head is in line with your spine. Okay, now you're going to come up slowly, doing exactly the same thing, dragging those weights up your thighs and then get to the top, shoulders back, squeeze your bum. So let's go through that all again because it is quite a lot of um, talking and there's a lot of different cues and prompts. So feet shoulder width apart, dig in your heels, toes up. First thing, nice good posture, shoulders back, abs tight. And now tilt your pelvis forward so you're going to stick out your butt. Paint your legs so all the way down. And it doesn't matter how far you go, as long as you keep your weights close. Lifting those toes, dig in your heels, head in line with your spine. And the whole, the whole time you're going to be sucking in your abs. Okay, so abs are tight that and your back is flat and now I can go a little lower I mean I can go to there keeping my form some people might be able to go to there some people might be able to go to here it actually doesn't matter as long as your pelvis is tilted your weights are close your bum is sticking out toes are up heels are digging into whatever surface head is down flat spine abs tight exhale on the way up wow lots and lots of points okay so ex exhaling on the way up Inhale on the way down. So let's do it one more time together. Okay, from the beginning. Shoulders back, chest up, abs tight. Soften those knees, lift your toes up. Okay, in your shoes, dig your heels in. Now stick your butt out by tilting your pelvis forward. Okay, nice flat back. Keep those weights close. Breathe in. Like that, head down, down with your spine, abs tight. Feel it in your hamstrings, not in your lower back. Dig your heels in, toes up. Exhale. Keep those weights close and hips forward at the top, squeeze your bum shoulders back. Okay, now let's do it at the pace you should be doing it at. Okay, so you're going down, out, down, out. In my case, I could go a little lower. Hold time, back is flat, weights are close, abs tight, digging your heels in. And you should be feeling it at the back of your legs. Yeah, you should not be feeling it in your lower back. If you are, then make sure you go a little bit, um, a little bit higher so you're not going as low. Just reduce how far you go down, keeping your back flat, keeping your abs tight or engaged. Head down and just do small ones in the beginning, keeping those weights close, just so that you can get that, that movement. Okay, hips forward, pelvis out. There. When you get that right, you can start to go a little lower. Okay, and then when you get that right, you can start to go really low and feel that, that pull in the hamstring. So it's really important that you get that one right. A lot of people I see doing it like this. See, like that. Knees are too bent. There's no pelvic tilt, bum out. There's none of that, and it's, they're doing this. Wow, and I can immediately feel it here in my lower back. Okay, I feel nothing in my hamstring. So it is really important to get that pelvic tilt and bum out. Okay, hope that helps.